السلام عليكم كيف الحال اسمي أركان الطري أهلا وسهلا السلام عليكم اسمي أركان عطري ويلكم أو ويلكم باك تعربي سهل إيزي عربيك بودكاست Today's lesson we're not going to learn new words or phrases in Arabic but we're going to learn about the Arabic language well about you if you study the Arabic language today we're going to talk about the benefits of studying Arabic now I have a list here of social health personal, professional, and global benefits. In no order of hierarchy, number one, Arabic is not an easy language. That's the obvious part. According to studies, learning language in general, Arabic in specific, improves your focus and memory. It also helps you sharpen your brain and delays Alzheimer's and dementia. Number two, Since learning Arabic takes time to master, you'll be working hard over time, which teaches you good time management habits, among other useful habits. Number three, you get to communicate with more people and therefore make more friends, new friends all the time. Think about There's about 300 million people speak Arabic. I'm not saying you get the chance to talk with all of them, but I mean, just the possibility itself. It's fascinating. Number four, you get more job opportunities, whether it's in your home country, an Arab country, or anywhere in the world. It's no secret that everywhere in the world bilinguals or people who speak two languages and more have better job opportunities. Number five, traveling to the MENA region becomes easier and smoother since you can express yourself more confidently. The MENA region, M-E-N-A, stands for Middle East and North Africa. This is the region where Arabic is widely spoken. And that gets me to number six. When you learn how to speak Arabic, you will be able to understand the true heart behind the faces you see when you visit the MENA region or people from the MENA region. And you develop more understanding and empathy for those people who are misjudged, especially in the media. You will be in Arab people's shoes and you see things from their perspective. The more you get advanced in the language. Think about it this way. You can understand the culture from the inside. I personally see this as the best benefit as a language learner. Lastly, number seven, and I left it at last, because for me it's irrelevant, but to you it could be very relevant, you might find your Arab significant other and start a new chapter in your life. For those who are seeking love, relationship, marriage, that's also a benefit for you. I hope these benefits can motivate you more to study Arabic and put more effort and time in it. They might not all apply to you, and that's okay. Whatever applies to you, just hold on tight to it and keep it in front of your eyes to remind yourself of the cause and the benefit of learning Arabic. Today's cultural point. Here's something that happened with me a week ago when I visited the doctor's office. A woman came to me and she was like, oh, you are the daughter of that man or that woman. I was surprised. I didn't recognize her face at all. Uh, Definitely didn't know her name, but she knew who I was. And she started asking me about the family, not just my parents, but like my uncles 
and my grandparents. And as awkward as that situation was, I had to carry on with the conversation. What I'm trying to say is, for Arabs, still happens all the time, but we still get surprised whenever somebody who knows our background comes to us and start a conversation. For you as a foreigner, don't be surprised by people striking conversation, random conversation, while you're waiting in the doctor's office or when you're queuing. It's just, you know, a friendly way to pass time, but also pass the time in a friendly and social way. Arabs are very social. They see somebody that they know from far away, they would shout hello and wave their hand up their heads. If they meet somebody that they know, their relatives, they would also strike a conversation. I I would say this happens more with older people, like people in their, I don't know, 40s, 50s, older, not with young generation. So yeah, please also be friendly and chat about whatever there's to chat about. Have fun. It's not intimidating. I mean, it could be in the beginning. But if they know that you're learning Arabic and once you start speaking Arabic, they'll be so amazed and they'll be so proud that they will tell everybody and their family. So yeah, you'll bring a smile to someone's face. All right, that's it for today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Yaatikul Afi, see you in the next lesson. Assalamu alaikum.